Relax, Druggy Duggy. Don't fucking call me that. My name is Doug or Douglas. I'm a fucking adult. I believe he's trying to assert his authority. Are you trying to assert your authority? Maybe he thinks he's in charge here? Do you think you're in charge here, Druggy Duggy? Don't fucking... What did I say? He said to relax, Druggy Duggy. <sighs> I did. I said to relax, right? What do you want from me? We want to see how much you love your new god. Are you familiar with Yubitsume? Yeah, it's that brown chicken dish at fucking Benihana. No, Doug. It's a ritual practiced by the Yakuza. Yubitsume is a form of apology. If a member of the Yakuza were to dishonor himself or one of his bosses, he'd be required to perform it. Perform what? He'd be asked to use this to cut the tip of his pinky finger off. Fuck, fuck you guys. I'm not cutting the fucking tip of my finger off. Well, that's up to you, druggy Tucky. Yes, we're not the low life drug addicts here. This stuff, this means nothing to us. We'd just as soon flush it down the toilet. We would. But we know you wouldn't like that. You're what they call a super addict. And besides, we're only asking for a pinky, you big baby. It's gonna hurt like fucking shit. Wow. It really only tickles a little. And you'll have that sweet, sweet crack to take the edge off. And then we'll drive you to a hospital. Now patch you up neat and tidy. <laughs> this is, this is fucking fucked. So is chemical dependence, but here we are. And you've certainly dishonored yourself, so I can't think of a more apropos way to atone. Just a tip, right? That's all. So what do you say, druggy duggy? Pinky or no pinky? And you fuckers are gonna take me to the hospital right afterwards, right? My golden word of honor. Let's up the ante a little bit, shall we? Oh. Odds are you've never seen a kilo of cocaine before, so feast your eyes. It's still Yubitsume, but you do have to use this. Fuck. Oh, and how the fuck am I supposed to cut my finger off with a rock? Figure it out. That's your problem, Druggy Ducky. Or you can go for the small package instead and just use the knife like a little bitch. Shall we count? Fuck it! You got this, Doug! God! Douglas, I am impressed. Unbelievable. You were right. See, I told you, drug addicts will do anything. Ow! Well, I am a man of my word. You won fair and square. Thank you. <laughs> what the fuck is that about? Oh, you see, I bet a dollar that you would use the rock, but uh, Charles here, he thought you'd puss out and go for the knife. You <laughs> bet on me, you yuppie asshole! <laughs> What's so funny?! It's powdered sugar, druggy duggy. And the packet was rock salt. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dickholes. Fuck you. Just take me to the hospital, please. Now, where are our keys, druggy duggy? If they'd been snakes, 
They would have bitten me. I know. You can't walk away from me! Yeah. Have to dash, druggy doggy. It's been fun. Don't you fucking leave me here! Fucking out, man! Mother, are you decent? When am I ever not decent? Are you trying to imply I'm not a lady, Charlie? Of course not, Mother. How did you sleep? Terribly. Oh, if I could move without pain, I would have tossed and turned all night. I'm sorry to hear that. You are still beautiful, though. Yeah? Mm. Am I still your favorite girl? Forever and ever. You sure got that look, sweetheart. Thank you, Mother. What time is it? Oh. Would you get my medicine for me, baby? I'd be glad to, sweets. Thank you. I had the weirdest dream last night. You don't say. Yeah. I was standing in the middle of the road, watching this horribly disfigured man being pulled out of a car wreck. <laughs> and guess what? What? It started to rain. Rose petals. Isn't that the damnedest thing? And to top it off, the police and the paramedics around the wreck stopped pulling the guy out and started dancing around like it was a Broadway musical. Then what? Then my son called me indecent, and here we are. Oh, hush. Do you know what Freud would say? Oh. Who gives two wooden nickels what Freud would say? That's all psychobabble anyway. And Freud is the topic of discussion. I'm missing out. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Mamsie. You two were out late last night. I hope you weren't getting into any trouble. Not in the least. Is that true? Yes. Of course. Good. Charles. Breakfast. Have a good day. You too, Mother. Is there anything in there? About what? About last night. 
Oh, I'm sure our friend Doug either bled to death in a gutter somewhere or he patched himself up. Also, do me a favor. Never bring up Doug again. Better for all of us. Of course. I'm sorry. No. Never be sorry. You know that. Sorry is a sign of weakness, Charles. And that is one thing we cannot afford to be. More coffee, guys? Please. <laughs> Genevieve. What a pretty name. Thank you. I actually pronounce it Genevieve. Sounds fancier. <laughs> You're new here. Yeah. Just started yesterday, actually. Well, we're a couple of regulars, so we'll be seeing lots of each other. Oh. Great. I'm Thomas, and this less handsome devil with the pancake in his mouth is my brother Charles. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Hello. Hi. I'm Jean-Bierre. Again. <laughs> Mommy. And that's my daughter, Maddie. Well, if you guys need a fill up, just give a shout. That's the kind of woman man was made to ruin. Genevieve. <laughs> you look like you could use a fill-up. Uh, you could, baby. It's like you. Thomas. Thomas. Thomas, you're creaming all over the place. Did you go away for a moment? She's got some big hips. It's a good sign of a healthy uterus. Can we please go one day without you using the word uterus? It's my very favorite word, Charles. Can't help myself. I'm in the mood for a movie today. You? We should get a hooker. What? Did you put salt in this? A little. Doesn't taste like a little. Mm. What about the hooker? Oh, we should get one. Why? Because it's time. So? So we're really going to do it? You think we're ready? You're not chickening out on me, are you? No. I just didn't think we were ready, that's all. We're ready. We've tested ourselves and we've tested others. I say we just push forward. So what do we do? Just call up an escort service and then we'll... No, no, you idiot. We don't just call up an escort service. That leaves a paper trail. You're supposed to have the higher IQ here, right? So what, we just pick up a girl off of the street? Yes, we just pick up a girl off the street. Take her to a motel. Oh, motel? Isn't that leaving a trail? We pay cash. She books the room. No one sees us with her. All right. Also, if we should rent a car so that her No. Hunger... I don't leave paper. We'll borrow a mother's car. She won't be needing it anyway. What kind of girl should we get then? Any kind. Doesn't matter to me. It's all the same meat in the end anyway. Would you two dickholes please shut the fuck up? I'm trying to watch the film. Just shut up! We're not animals, Charles. Though he is on the list. It shouldn't just be any kind of girl, though. She should be special. Okay. So you pick. It really doesn't matter to me. Your indifference is suffocating. My indifference is justifiable. No one's gonna care one iota about any of these girls. Pretty or not.
That one. That gaudy one? She's decrepit, Charles. Why her? She's beautiful. She looks like mother. Legs. Evening, boys. How can I help you? Well, my brother and I have carefully selected you for tonight's indulgence. Selected me? Both of you? You wouldn't happen to be cops, would ya? Oh, no, ma'am. Just regular red-blooded American horn dogs. Yeah, I can see that. I'm Drew, and this is Hank. Nice to meet ya, Drew and Hank. I'm Vanity. Is that your real name? No. Of course it's not my real fucking name. <sighs> so are we gonna party or what? I'll just get my purse. Could have gone someplace nice, you know. Dirty places for dirty things, I always say. I'm gonna go freshen up. How should we do it? You wanna sleep with her, don't you? We can't rape her, Charles. It'll leave semen behind. Even with a condom, it wouldn't be safe then. Did you smell her? Her scent? She stinks of cooked meat. That's because it's not meat, brother. That is the smell of impurity. So how should we do it then? Let's just roll with the punches and see what develops. So, what do you two little pervs want to do with me tonight? A great many things, ma'am. You don't have to call me ma'am. I'm your whore, not your librarian. Or I can be if you want me to. So, we riding solo or tag team? I don't do anal, usually. Though I can be financially coerced. I don't swallow uh, and I don't... This is a non-smoking room. Seriously? Cigarettes are the leading cause of death in the United States. Okay, doke. Well, you boys are in charge, so... Oh, what's... no, no. You're in charge tonight. We want you to take the reins. I like your style, Blondie. You can come first. A ballet dancer. Yet you became a prostitute. Well, that's what happens when you're busy making other plans. Isn't that the bullshit saying? Like God works in mysterious ways, whatever. How many sexual partners have you had, Vanity? Many. Too many. What would your mother think about all this, Vanity? She'd say, I hope those two sexy brothers Tip well, dear. You know what's funny? This is actually my biggest fantasy. <laughs> well, not exactly, but close enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna suck your cock. Is that okay with you? Give me a chance to warm up. 
Get off me, uh, Tommy. You disgust me. You fuck off. Thomas, what are you doing? She's not the one. Not the one? What, what do you mean? She's so impure. She's rotten. She can't be our first. I'm your first. Thomas, get away from me, Charles. Thomas. Hey, I'm talking to you. Hey, what happened? She wasn't pure. She wasn't pure, Charles. She was a piece of garbage, nothing. It was all wrong. All wrong? How was it all wrong? We knew what she was before we even walked into that room. No? No. You see, it's the wrong tech. We're going about it all wrong. Are we? Or did you just lose your spine? What did you say to me? What the hell did you say to me? Don't you ever... Don't you ever say that to me again. I did not lose my spine, you idiot! How could you not see that she wasn't right? Or are you too stupid to understand? How wasn't she right? We were supposed to kill her, not put her on a pedestal. That's exactly my point, Charles. We should put them on a pedestal. At least our first one. It shouldn't be some throwaway street trash tramp. It should be someone whose death would mean something. Hookers get killed all the time. Life goes on. We need them to remember what we do and who we do it to. Well, we could have just strung her up and made it look like Jack the Ripper got to her and that would have made ink. No! Keep in mind, this is an experiment. A test of the superior intellect versus the weak-minded cattle. For it to lead to transcendence, it's got to mean something. But for it to mean something, we must also make it art. It must be a defined act of art above all else. The victims are as much part of it as we are. They are the canvas charms. Don't worry. And we you live. are the goddamn paintbrushes. I saw the light coming out from underneath the door and figured you were awake. Yeah. I'm having trouble sleeping. Anything I can do? Tuck me in and sing me a song. Okay. Not worried. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I've just got a lot on my mind. You know I can read you like a book. Something isn't right. There's nothing. We're supposed to tell each other everything. No secrets. So Thomas is weak. <clears throat> no, Mother. Everything is fine. Hmm. Boy, if it wasn't for that look you got. Let's see. What song would you like to hear? Well. I could use a little sunshine. You got it. Sunshine, baby. It's sunshine. Time to wake up, baby. We'll open those Good evening, stranger. Hey, John Dave. You remembered. <laughs> so wherever, it's super dead tonight. I will if you join me. Oh. <laughs> Cookie dough is my favorite, but we don't carry it. 
I've never really been a big fan of cookie dough. Most guys aren't. Maybe it's a girl thing. So I guess your husband doesn't mind you working the graveyard shift. <laughs> I'm not married. Oh, I, I figured since. Getting pregnant and getting married can be mutually exclusive. It was just a stupid time in my life. I don't regret having my daughter. I love my little Maddie. You have a tattoo. Oh, yeah. Souvenir from the old days. It's beautiful. Thanks. Maddie likes it. So tell me about yourself. What do you do? What do you like? Are you okay? Yeah, um, nervous twitch, I guess. Are you nervous? <laughs> well, yes. After all, I am all alone with a very strange woman and there's no telling what you'll do to me. You're safe in my hands. Good to know. So what about your brother? What does he do? He's a writer. He wants to write true crime books. He's fascinated by death. Wow. I couldn't do that. There's enough ugliness in the world to go digging for more. Back to work. Grab a seat. I'll be right with you. Uh, are you seeing anyone? <sighs> I am sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to blurt that out just then. It's just... I was wondering if maybe you'd like to go with me to the movies sometime. Are you into chick flicks? Not particularly, no. <laughs> Too bad. You'll learn. Coco Chubblies? We got movie shit. That was actually really good. I would go with the definition of trite. You're kidding. It was so sweet. Oh, hey, you two. Hi. <laughs> I didn't know you were seeing this movie. Wasn't it good? I know. And the ending? Who would have thought he'd make it to the altar after all those mishaps? <laughs> right? Right. Oh. It was so good. What did you think, Charles? Um, I thought it was okay. Okay. This is the man who would argue the merits of Bella Tarr's films versus Bergman's work, and all he can say is, it was okay. Some films only deserve an okay. We can't like all art. It would defeat the purpose of personal intent and free will. Well put, sir. Ugh, goddamn battery. Charles, do you mind if I borrow your phone? My mom's watching Maddie. I didn't really tell her I was gonna be. He doesn't have a cell phone, actually. 
It can lead to brain cancer. Though, uh, we do have a phone at home just right around the corner from you. Um, maybe I should just go home. I, I gotta work tonight. Don't be a silly goose. Come on over for lunch. I'm an excellent cook. Hey, you like pasta? Huh? I love pasta. Fantastic. Stay for an hour. Charles here. He'll take you home. You know what? Call Maddie, call your mom, bring the whole clan over. I'm part Italian. We love big gatherings. What do you say? Huh? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to our home. Just make yourself at home. Uh, phone has been on the fritz. I'm just gonna go get my cell phone. I don't really care about brain cancer. Okay. What were you doing at the theater? Spying on us? She's perfect. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb, Charles. She's beautiful. She's she's kind. She she's loved by those around her. She even is a mother. She's so blindingly perfect. No. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Then why were you going out with her today if you weren't testing the waters? I'll be a monkey's uncle. You like this girl. You honest to God and the baby angels actually like this girl? She glows. What about me? Hmm? What about you, big brother? What am I supposed to do when you kick me to the curb for this, for this woman? What do you even know about her? Okay. You know, she's probably as loose as vanity. All women are the same, Charles. You and I need to remain pure. Have you forgotten that? Okay. Okay. What do you want me to do? You're breaking my heart here, Charles. Am I supposed to just give up on you? Because I won't. You're my baby brother, and it's my job to keep you safe. I said... Okay. Attaboy. You know... She is a pretty little thing, isn't she? Maybe it wouldn't be a half bad idea to marry a gal like that. Kill her, Thomas. Who needs the headache? If she glows like you say, she's the one. She's our canvas. Okay, fine. So how do we follow do my lead? Well, as luck would have it, I uh, <laughs> can't really seem to find the damn thing. Oh. Okay, well, that's all right. They can do without me for an hour or so. At a girl. Now, let me occupy your mind with some fettuccine of the gods. How does that sound? Great. <laughs> Great. Shall we shrimp? You allergic? Mm mm. Let's shrimp. <laughs> Charles, Mother beckons. Is your mom here? Yeah. She's she's sick. We'll be right back. Old lady problems. You're not being a bad boy, are you? No. No, mother. Thomas isn't doing things he shouldn't be doing, is he? Putting ideas in your head that shouldn't be put there? No, Mother, I promise. <sighs> He's like a canker sore, that boy. Always trying to be the big man. <sighs> oh, I'm sure glad you got that look. <sighs> Top me off, will you, honey bunch? Of course, 
uh, I want to try and get some sleep. So you can have a little piece of quiet with your friend. So Charles tells me you're into serial killers and things like that. Mm-hmm. I like the obscure ones. Earl Nelson, Henry Landrieu. To a degree, I consider them artists, geniuses. Really? I don't know. I mean, what would possess someone to want to kill another human being? I don't consider that genius. I consider it insanity. <laughs> we are Neanderthals everywhere, Genevieve. They are predators. And there are prey. The trick is to eat before you're eaten. Well, maybe that's true to a degree, but I don't think killing should be admired. I certainly wouldn't want to live that way. Then you'll be swallowed up. Survival of the fittest. Well, life's already swallowed me up. <laughs> Best I can do now is teach my daughter to be bigger and better than mommy. All parents want that. Most of them fail. Has anyone ever told you you sound like an asshole? Not to my face, no. Thank you. Oh my god. You are radiant. Way to cover for your brother. I mean it. You're glorious. Okay, okay. Let's get this over with. What are you doing? We have been waiting for this for a very long time. Well, for what? You. You, young lady, are gonna be our masterpiece. Charles, tell him to back off. This shit ain't funny. Funny? You think I'm playing around, Miss Genevieve? What kind of hoity-toity shitty name is that? Stuck-up bitches like you are better off dead, I say. Charles, it's it. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Thomas! Wait. Someone help me, please. She's suffering. It's so beautiful. Charles? Look at her, Thomas. Go away. Look at her. Stop. Charles, please. Why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing this to you. I'm doing this for you. Because you're beautiful. I didn't do anything to you. You glowed. Because you are glorious. Did you see when I told her it was because she was glorious that, that she smiled like she was giving me permission? She didn't fucking smile. And why did you keep that damn thing? It was one of my souvenirs. What's wrong with you? You're shaking. I know you. Just, what's wrong? I mean, we pulled it off. We did it. 
No. Yeah. We did it. Yeah. The problem is... I didn't like it. It shouldn't have been like that. What should it have been like? I don't know. I don't fucking know! You don't have to curse, Thomas. There's no need for that. I don't have to fucking curse? Fuck you, Charles! It shouldn't have felt like that. Like what? Pity. I felt sorry for her. Well, I'm sorry to hear you say that. Up for a movie? I'm in the mood. I'm not. You can have it. I wasn't going to eat it anyway. How did you know? I saw it. I think I can see everything now. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Didn't mean to startle you. May I cop a squat? No <laughs> pun intended. Um, of course, officer. It's Detective. Detective Homer Gall. As long as we've got that clear, you can call me Homer. We're pals. Well, how can we help you, Homer? I'm not sure if you boys have heard the bad news, but one of the waitresses that worked here was found murdered late last night. Oh, no. My goodness, who? Oh, pretty little thing, named Genevieve de Bois. You boys know her? We knew her somewhat, yes. She would wait on us whenever we came in here. Well, that's the reason I'm bucking you folks. You see, I asked Angelo, the owner here, to pick out for me a few of the regulars. He fingered you two among a few others. Well, we are certainly regulars, aren't we, Thomas? Uh, yes. And you two are, what, friends? Lovers? Nothing unsavory or illegal going on under this table, now is there? <laughs> <laughs> no, Homer, we're brothers. I'm Charles Brubaker, and this is Thomas Lobianco. Different dads. You got it. You must be really good at what you do. Flatter me. <laughs> it's a gift. Here you go, detective. Oh, Homer, please, we're piles for a moment. Huh? Now, let me... Oh! Oh! Oh, Angelo, 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 Angelo. This is the first time I've actually tasted coffee the way it was meant to be made! <laughs> Have you tried this coffee? <laughs> Astounding. Like cinnamon and Jesus had a baby. Ever chat with Genevieve? See her at all outside this place? I can't say we have. We wanted to, though. She sure was a pretty young little thing, like you said. Yeah. Of course, I was going off pictures. Whoever killed her, man, those twisted bastards really did a number on her. How was she killed? Charles. It really wouldn't help the investigation if I started running my mouth about the sensitive details of the case, now would it? Turn on the local news. I imagine all the gory details will be in the six o'clock. Now, if I 
wanted to reach you fellas again, how would I do that? Well, this is our home number. And that's in gold leaf, too, FYI. Yeah. Pals, I want to thank you. Ah, Thomas, manners, please. Is there something I said? My, my aunt always told me to modulate my tone. I hope I haven't No, been it's too... just that we're sick and wouldn't want to spread it. Besides, you have work to do, Homer. Taking a sick day now would just slow you down. That's really very thoughtful of you. Mm. Talk soon. Pals. Hey, gonna talk to you folks? Did you see his cup? He had the club. He came over to shake our hands. How can you be sure? How about a foreign film? Something long. I'm not feeling well. Take me home. Suit yourself, party pooper. <laughs> This is Dubois. Oh, hello, detective. How are we doing? Well, just trying to stay strong, you know, for, for her. Hey there, Maddie. Hey, honey, this is the man that I was telling you about. Gosh, again. Sorry, honey. 
You know, you're kind of her hero. She's kind of mine. I promise on my life that I will find the bad people who did this to your wonderful, beautiful mommy. That's my job, to make sure little girls don't cry. You can count on me, okay? I'm the axe, and they're the big bad wolves. Who is that? Who the fuck is that? Here we go. Ham and cheese. Mm. Extra mayo. Extra. Extra mayo, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to dash, but Thomas will be here if you... No. I'll be turning in early tonight. Hopefully. Oh. Oh, okay. Down the hatch. Over the lips and through the gums. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Sleep well. Hmm. Be a good boy. I'll be the very best mother. Oh. What are you gonna do tonight? Just drive. We'll see what develops. You're not going to- If the spirit moves me, I shall allow it to. You remember that cop from this morning? Who, Homer? He's supposed to be psychic. <laughs> I knew it. Something told me to keep you away from his hand. That's why his drink had the glow. He's got a 98% conviction record, Charles. Well, all we can do is hope. For what? That we fall within that golden 2%. He knows. I'm sure he knows. Thomas. Psychic intuition is not evidence, even if he's really, really good at it. He may know, but he still has to prove it. We are above this, and we always have been. Oh, um, no. Uh, how should I know? Thomas, are you lying to me? What do you say we just stay home tonight, get drunk, and watch some reality TV crap? Oh, but that's boring, Thomas. And if there's one thing I hate, it's boredom. Now. That bulge in your right pocket wouldn't happen to be the keys, would it? Thank you. What would I do without you, big brother? <laughs> Well, well. Where's Tweedledum? He's at home. He's a little shy. Doesn't know how to treat a lady. <laughs> but you do. Only one way to find out.
Same room, huh? Maybe you should rent it by the month. It's not going to be very clean after tonight. Mm. Things gonna get dirty, are they? You could say that. Yeah. You look like a nasty little boy. I have no intention of kissing you or the thousand cocks you've sucked. <laughs> oh, fuck. Tell me how you really feel about me. I'm gonna go freshen up. Take a shower. With soap and hot water. I want you to be clean. Put this on. You see? I'm going to eat you. From head to toe. Sounds like a Saturday night to me. Okay, you no face bitch. Come on, get me. Come out. Come out. Wherever you are. Jesus! No, 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 Genevieve, please! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. Please. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. No, no. I'm sorry, I'm so fucking sorry. No, 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 no. Please, please, no. Shit. Fuck. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm so fucking sorry. No, 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 I need no. See, my brother and I have a theory. We once saw a cat get run over by a car when we were six. A week later, the carcass hadn't been picked up yet, and where it laid in the grass, a patch of daisies just sprung up. And that's where we first saw it. So what? The divine tragedies of life. God's love and death. Beauty amongst ugliness and rot. <laughs> Are you a Bible thumper or something? No. No, we haven't written our Bible. Not yet. But you. You are very lucky. Oh, yeah? Why is that? You will be our second step toward divinity. You see, when I said that I was going to eat you from head to toe, I meant that I was going to eat all of you. Your skin. Your heart. Your liver. Your pancreas. Your spleen. Your ovaries. Your everything. What the fuck are you... This is one of my favorites.
favorites. <laughs> I can kill you first if you like, but you have to promise to be quiet, my dear. Vanity. Come on. Fuck you! So how long does something like this usually take? Depends on how willing the spirit is. Sometimes a day or two. Sometimes instantly. And uh, what do you see? Is it like pictures or what? Anything. Sometimes the last images, sometimes bits and pieces, voices. And it completely takes me in. I see all of it. And with her? And with her. stubborn because she's scared. But I know there were two of them. One did all the killing. The other watched. Tried the door, no one answered. Figured you out, figured I'd wait. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, my boy, what happened to you? I, uh, fell down the stairs, Detective. It's Homer, we're pals, please. Does it hurt much? My wife always says onion peel. How can I help you, Homer? Oh, well, I wanted to ask a few follow-up questions, if you have a spare second or three. All right, okay. Yeah, okay. Sure. 
Is this about the whole waitress thing? Yeah, pal. I'm afraid it's about the whole waitress thing. All right. Here's your water. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So where's your brother? He's, uh, he's around somewhere. I don't really keep tabs on him. Well, that's curious. I figured you two for being very close. Well, uh, we are. <laughs> Sort of. Sort of. I don't know. Probably off with his girlfriend. Charles doesn't have a girlfriend. He doesn't? Well, no dancing car for him then. You're the lady killer in the family, huh? I don't know about that. I'd say Charles has more to account for in that department. So both your dad and Charles's dad are dead? Yes, sir. Heart attack for one, drunk driving for the other. Tragic. It happens. It does. Doesn't make it any less tragic, right? Right. Yeah. Mm. No. Nice place. Good use of space. Thank you. What do you call this style of architecture? Oh, I, I, I don't really know. I guess it would be a, uh, I don't know. I've got you, pal. Let's make it easy. He talked too much. Mother, are you okay? Come on. Are you okay? Use the bed. Okay. 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 Yeah. Here you are. Can I get you anything? I'm fine. If there's anything, I, I'd be happy to. No, I'm fine. I just, I, I feel like I should probably explain a few things. Just send Charles in when he arrives. Why do you hate me? With every word you say to me, you spit poison. You hate my fucking guts. Thomas, language. I try to be the good son for you, but you always want Charles. What is that? All right. All right. Would you get Mumsy some of her medicine, please? Best to forget it, I think. There's a police officer bleeding to death in our living room. We can't just forget it. The thing is, Mother, Charles and I, we killed someone. I know. You what? It's called guilt, you big pussy. That's what you're feeling. And you wonder why I favor Charles. He told you. And Charles, he told you? Of course he told me. He told me the night it happened. 
Especially how you started acting like a colicky little baby about it. You're just like your muling father. Useless. If I hadn't killed him when I did, he would have impregnated that stupid secretary of his for sure. Spreading more of his garbage seed around. What do you say, Mother? Your father was a drunk. It was easy to fake. And Charles's father was a genius, but he couldn't fuck to save his life. Oh my God. Do you know how easy it is to fake a heart attack, Thomas? You could even pull it off. Mother, why? Because they weren't worthy. That's why. I know the two of you have been paying attention to me over the years. But somehow, somehow I knew I'd go wrong with you. You had garbage genetics. Been my canker sore ever since. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, look at you. Acting like one of them even now. You may have come out of my cunt, but you came out wrong. You killed my father? And I was happy to do it. But he loved me! Love isn't real. Respect and fear, that's it. Charles respects me because he fears me. But you, you're different. You're weak and powerless, and you yearn for things that don't exist. You may have acted like Mr. Big and Bad, but when the world opened up and showed itself to you, you shit your pants and ran away like a little baby. You should just kill yourself and be done with it. Save us the trouble of dealing with you. Oh, good. Shoot yourself in the head. Pull a Hemingway. Smartest thing you could ever do. I'd been pushing Charles for years to kill you, but he wouldn't do it. Damn idiot. I should have aborted you when I had the chance. <laughs> really, Thomas? You don't have the balls. Don't run away from what you did with <laughs> You told mother. What the hell were you thinking? What did you do? Mother. 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 Mommy? Mommy? Mommy, no. No, 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 no. What did you do? (laughs) 
You didn't have to kill her. <laughs> Don't you see what she did to us? We're like this because of her. Like what? Delusional, crazy. What happened to us? What the hell happened to us? Everything! Everything happened to us, Thomas! We were made for this! Because we're smarter, we're better. All this other garbage and conventional thinking! We're beyond that! We have the look! What look? I have the look! Jeffrey Dahmer had it! Ted Bundy had it! And now, I do too! The look of a confident and untouchable being. We've touched hands with the Divine Thomas. Our eyes have been opened by God. We were wrong. We were so fucking wrong. There is no regret. Not for us. Not anymore. Once you're born, you can't go back. Stop talking, you're crazy. You don't get to talk. In. Stop this, Thomas. We can bury Mother and go back to the way things were. Nothing has to change. We can't run away from what we did. They're waiting for our call. Don't. We can ask for a cell together. They should be able to grant that if we cooperate. Don't call them Thomas. It'll be okay, baby brother. Thomas, put the phone down. They said they'd go easy on us if we confessed. Everybody makes mistakes. Thomas, put down the fucking phone! Language Charles. Tommy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Thomas. Oh my God. Tommy. Are you okay? Use some sunshine right about now. Okay. Okay. Sunshine, baby, it's sunshine. 
Tommy. Tommy. Oh my God! <laughs> Tommy! Reality now. 